Uh, yesterday I was in the locker room. I was putting on my pads. There hadn't been, in fact, it was the happiest locker room of the training camp. We were getting ready to leave, and I waited, and I was putting on my pads, and all of a sudden he just hit me from the left side. I didn't, I didn't see what happened at all. It was no, he mentioned that I kicked some chairs and provoked him, which is a, you know, just an outright lie. There was nothing said or nothing done. He it was premeditated. It, evidently, it, he'd been simmering all day, and some of the things that took place during the day kind of were, were warnings, which I wish I would have known about. Uh, of course, uh, it was a gutless uh, punch. I uh, had nothing I could do. By the time I recovered, I had slammed my head against the uh, scale there and cut my forehead. His punch just dazed me. It really didn't do a lot of damage. The scales was did the damage to my head. It cut my head. and. Of course, I recovered and went after him. By that time, of course, I was grabbed by Ed Jones, uh, Didi Lewis, and uh, you know a lot of my teammates. And I guess he picked the locker room because he knew someone would grab grab me after uh, after what he did. Because of course, uh, you know, as a human being, when someone does something like that, that's to me very gutless. Uh, you want to you know react and and and, and get back. And uh, that's the you know honest version. There was no provocation at all. He just took a a punch where he knew I couldn't defend myself, and uh, I couldn't. I mean, there's, I mean, anytime you're not looking, uh, it's, it's very easy to, to hit someone as hard as you can. Uh, as far as what's happened since June, I don't understand it. I don't understand uh, why uh, Clint has taken this position. Last year we got along very well, and it started in June. Uh, he wouldn't even throw at the same times that White and I did out the practice field, and I, I don't know what that reason is, and uh, only he can answer that. He's gave me a, an answer of, uh, he said it broke his concentration, communicating with other quarterbacks. Uh, so uh, that's the way he wanted it, and that's the way it was in training camp. And, uh, uh, you know, you got to face the challenge, whether it's from Danny White or not. I've got to face the challenge if it's from Clint Longley, and that's the name of the game. You just don't go into a shell and, uh, and, and do some of the things that have taken place out in training camp. It's over with as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, the rest Can of it's up to the... For it? Uh, well, I I can forgive. Uh, uh, right now, it's very difficult. I, you know, what happened? I would never do to anyone. I would give someone an equal chance to defend himself. And uh, of course, even when my team teammates grabbed me, I didn't have a chance. I mean, I was, uh, you know, I could do, you know, you could do this to Muhammad Ali if he wasn't looking. He had he had a he had a glass in his hand, but you sure wouldn't want to see him afterwards.